Hi guys, and welcome to Storytime Friends. I'm Georgia. And I'm Amber. And today we're going to read The Witch Who Was Afraid of Witches by Alice Lowe. Pictures by Jane Manning. The Witch Who Was Afraid of Witches. Story by Alice Lowe. Pictures by Jane Manning. So here are three witches. Contents. Wendy was the youngest witch in her family. She had the weakest witch power, and she was afraid of witches. Older, bossy, mean witches, like her two sisters. So this must be Wendy. And these are her two sisters. And it looks like this one has frog toes. And this <laughs> one's like stirring something. And a cauldron. Her oldest sister, Polly, knew everything. She knew where to get the best sapphire wood for broomsticks and the best frogs, toads for witches, boo. And she knew the best books for witches, spells too. One day Polly was going to the sapphire scrolls. Take me with you, Wendy begged. Polly said, you're too young. You don't even know have the right kind of wood in your broomstick. You don't know anything and you'll never learn. Mm -hmm. It's kind of mean. Yeah. And so this is Polly. And this is Wendy. Wendy's middle sister, Wog, knew how to do everything best. She flew the fastest of any witch in the valley and cackled the loudest. She cackled, <laughs> I'll get you. And she really got you. And she used her most frightening work to make the spells work the best. Teach me how to say spells in that frightening voice, Wendy begged. But Wog said, your voice is too weak. You don't even know how to cackle. Wendy didn't even try to learn spells. They wouldn't work because she didn't have a frightening voice. So she's mean too. So now we know she that... She's just laying around. Yeah. Now we know that the two sisters are Wog and Polly. And that's Wendy. She keeps begging. Mm. All... At night, Wendy's sisters had parties. Wendy sat at the top of the stairs, listening to the cackles of witch laughter. She wished she could join in sometimes. Polly saw her and shouted, Spying again? Off with you. It's past your bedtime. And Wendy crept into her cold bed, hugging her broomstick. She was afraid of the dark, afraid of witches. Sometimes she tried to make up a spell to put on her sisters, but she needed them to tell her the right words. At least I have you, Wendy said to her broomstick. You give me a little witch power. And that doesn't look like um, Polly or Wog. Those must be pretty black. Though, no, this is Polly. Yes, yeah, Polly. But, but that's not Wog. Must be somebody at the Polly. Then. The day before Halloween, Wendy lost her broomstick. Neither of her sisters would give her another. Serves you right, they said. Wendy felt lost without it. Now she had no witch power at all. That's sad. Looks like she has a ponytail. A ghost on the doorstep. On Halloween night, Wendy's sister said, We're going to the city where there are more people to scare. Take me with you, Wendy said. Please, how can you come with us when you don't even have a broomstick? Polly asked. Can't I ride with you? Asked Wendy. No, you would make the broomstick too heavy. Stay here and don't let any trick-or-treaters in. They eat our candy and squirt shaving cream on the rug. Wendy wasn't afraid of trick-or-treaters. She was much more afraid of witches. Turn off the lights, lock the door, and put out the fire, Polly said. It will look like n nobody is home. Wendy did as Polly said. She sat in the dark, shivering. She wished she had a broomstick for company. There was a knock on the door. Trick-or-treat, shouted a voice. Wendy called, there's nobody home. You're home, said the ghost on the doorstep. Well, I'm nobody, Wendy said. 
Is that what you are for Halloween? asked the ghost. Are you nobody? Yes, Wendy said, but I'm dressed as a witch. Why don't you come trick-or-treating with me? asked the ghost. I'm Roger, and my best friend is Billy. When trick-or-treating with his other friend, best friend, let's follow them and scare them. That sounds good to me, Wendy said, though I'm not very good at scaring people. Mostly, I'm scared of witches. And here's Roger, and this is Wendy. She probably, he probably thinks she's like in a costume. Yeah, no. I'll catch you, said Roger. You just go woo, woo, woo. That's how ghosts go, Wendy said. Witches cackle like this. Ha, ha, ha. I'll get you. Very good, said Roger. You sound like, like a, a real, real witch. Do I? Wendy asked. I never thought I could cackle before, but I can't be a real witch without my broomstick. I lost mine. If that's all you need, we have an old one at home. Come on, said Roger. And this, and then they're running away from Wendy's house. I don't see Wendy's house. No. <laughs> Not that we know what it looks like. At Roger's house. They walked up a hill to Roger's house. Roger's mother gave Wendy hot chocolate and a candied apple and a broomstick. Roger said, get on, let's see you ride. I'm not any good at riding broomsticks, Wendy said, afraid to try. I have no witch power. Take the broomstick anyway, he said. So this is Roger's mom, Roger and Wendy. They have a candied apple and Roger's mom is giving Wendy a broom. Wendy took the broomstick, but she didn't sit on it. This old kitchen broomstick won't give her any witch power. Go on, sit on it, said Roger. It's fun. Okay, Wendy said. After all, Roger didn't expect her to do anything but pretend to and have fun. She sat on the broomstick and then said, Hee, 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 I'll get you. Then she gave a little jump. She took off so fast. She hit the ceiling. That must be a magic broomstick, said Roger. Here, let me try it. And she's like flying. Yeah. Roger got on and said, hee hee hee, I'll get you. Then he gave a low jump, but nothing happened. Darn it, it doesn't work, he said. I'll try it, said Roger's mother. She saw it and cackled and gave a low jump, but nothing happened again. I'll try it again, Wendy said. Again, she took off easily. She zoomed around and around before she landed. I guess I do have a little witch power, she said. I never thought so before, but I still don't know any spells. Then make one up, said Roger. Your magic. That made a really good spell pop into Wendy's head. Then she, in a funny voice, frogs and lizard, totes and newts. Buttons, raincoats, hiking boots. Turn this goat into a bush. Presto, change, you'll make a switch. Robert Roger's robes turned black. Right, he said. I wanted to be a witch, but we didn't have any black sheets. But I need a pointy hat. Oh, that's easy, Wendy said. I don't even have to think about that one. Stew and boot. And a cat and bat. Give this witch a pointy hat. Great, said Roger. Now let's fly. Be careful, said the new witch's mother. Don't fly too fast. We won't, they said, as Wendy steered the broomstick out of the window. Don't they think, like, surprised that you can fly? Yeah. I mean, like, and don't they think, wouldn't they like, ask her how she does that? And is she a real witch? If she's flying, they'll probably... I don't think the mother should let him get on the broomstick. <laughs> First, they souped over cheese and made the leaves fall off. Then, they souped into a party where Billy and his other best friend were ducking for apples. Billy and his friend were so scared, they ran home crying. Suddenly, the clock struck midnight. I'd better fly you home, Wendy said. I want to come home with you and keep on being a witch, said Roger. You are a real witch, aren't you? Yes, I am a real witch with my own witch power, Wendy said. I just found that out and you helped me, but I have to turn you back into a ghost and take you home. Your mother would miss you. 
roll figs and toast toast. Turn the switch back to a ghost. Well, Roger said, thanks, and you can keep the broomstick. Thanks a lot, said Wendy. See you next Halloween. Wendy flew home and went to sleep without worrying about witches. She wasn't afraid of witches anymore. Two strong spells. Wendy woke up. It was still dark outside, and her sisters weren't home yet. It's far too late for them to be out, she said. They may be older, but they have no sense. I will have to teach them a thing or two. She took her time making up two spells. They weren't as fancy as the spells her sister Polly found in books, but Wendy knew they had special power because they were her own. Snakes and cakes and pumpkin pie. Oldest sister, you can't fly. Salt and pepper bouncing ball. Middle sister, you will fall. Oh dear, Wendy said. I forgot to say the spells in a really frightening voice. I hope they work. An hour later, her sisters came limping home. Wendy's spells had worked. That's good, but they look really hurt. I wonder what happened to them in the city. Mm. The strangest thing happened, Polly said. All of a sudden, I couldn't take off. My boomstick was too heavy. I took off walk, said, but the wind blew my boomstick away. My boomstick blew away too, Polly said. We had to walk. Ow, my feet hurt. Wog said, I feel funny all over, as if I have had lost my witch power. Now I know how you feel without your broomstick. That's over now, Wendy said. I found a pretty good broomstick. That's just an old kitchen broomstick, Polly said. Well, it works for me, Wendy said. It couldn't possibly, said Polly. Polly got on, but she couldn't take off. I knew it was no good, she said. Well, got on, but she couldn't take off either. Then Wendy got on. She said, ha, 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 I'll get you in her own voice. Then she gave a little jump. Wendy zoomed out the window back in and back in. She had flown faster than her sisters ever had. How can it be, Polly asked. I thought I knew everything. That broomstick isn't even made of sap. Sassafras. How can it be? Wog asked. I thought I knew to do everything best, Wendy. Didn't even use a funny voice. Wendy felt sorry for her sisters. You're probably tired of, she said. Get a good sleep and tomorrow you'll be able to fly. In bed, Wendy made up two spells to take the spells off her sister. Oldest sister, you can fly. All you have to do is try. Middle sister, flying's fun. The spell I made is now undone. That's good. What if it was? The next day, they went to the sassafras grove to cut two sticks for brooms. This one is best, Polly said. Now we'll be able to fly again. And she did. Wog found another stick. She sat on it and said, mumble, mumble, tumble, tumble, in a frightening voice. Now we'll be able to fly again. And she did. Wendy took off, too, on her old kitchen broomstick. Wendy never told them about her spells. It was enough to know that her older sister thought she knew everything, but didn't. And her middle sister thought she knew how to do everything best, but didn't. And she never told them that she had found her very own special witch power. She didn't have to. They knew she was different, and they treated her differently, just like one of them. So that's the end of the book. We hope you liked it and we'll see you next time on Storytime Friends. Bye! Bye.